hi guys how are you all doing so it's sunday here in australia and at the moment it's 3 30 or 4 o'clock already and i'm trying to enjoy this beautiful sunny weather but it's not too hot it's not so cold so it's really nice to do something in the garden but i'm not feeling the best so i feel so weak and i'm just sitting here in my diy pergola here that made by my husband and i with some friends help <laughs> and i'm planning to put this one somewhere in the garden but my brain is not working at the moment and yeah so i just decided to sit here and enjoy the beautiful weather and enjoy the plants that's surrounding me and look at this lemon tree i have here look at that it's full on and my birds of paradise look at this one guys it's really healthy and it's very tall <laughs> look at that and yeah so I'll just sit down here maybe put the feet up like that and relax <laughs> the sky is blue it's nice to do something when you have enough energy <laughs> and when you have this beautiful weather take advantage of it do something in the garden because when the weather get bad then all you have to do is do a household work inside work <laughs> so yep so here's the better look of these birds of paradise so i got that one before when it's just tiny probably that height <laughs> and look at it now very uh, easy to look after drop tolerance so if you see some birds of paradise guys grab it and you can have a tropical feel in your garden and my vertical garden that i made with my husband it's not doing well not all of them are doing well let's have a closer look um some of them are dying like that one there needs some replacement because i really don't have a luxury to water them every second or third day that's why i stick to succulent <laughs> so those plants there i will replace it with a with bromeliads like these bromeliads here you see they're looking good even i don't water them as much so this one here this is a succulent hanging plant it's beautiful oh, i don't know the identification of this plant but I'm not hundred percent if it is solace and it's beautiful and yeah I will put some more of this over here so those plants that are going to die easily for me I will replace them and I will not get them again you see that white part there guys it's empty it's because i'll show you why it's empty there's a plant there before i think it dies because i'll show you why i'll show you why oh, hang on there you go the bird decided to make a bird's nest in there and lay their egg there so this is the second egg that the bird used this one this springtime so the first one already gone and then another one replies so i can't really take this one off or replace this pot here until those birds are finished laying their eggs so yeah anyway let's leave that alone and let's look around more Over there, where my barbecue area is a dappled shy. It's really nice in there. But there are lots of weeds that I need to 
pull it out at the moment it's really nice to just sit down here and admire the beauty of nature some of the roses are growing and that aloe vera there look it's flowering This one flowers every springtime and it's very generous in giving a flower. See how pretty is that? So gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful there from the distance. That's how pretty the flower is. Very tiny flowers, but so beautiful. And the tapestry succulent garden that I made last autumn is doing well as well here you go and I just put additional here this one here a ghost plant so I put it in that pot because the one over that area died and this semper viral look at that one guys beautiful it's growing nicely here in this rock. So I use this rock as a pot for that sample viral. And my jelly bean here is, I think it's overgrowing. So I might cut these big ones here and left those little ones underneath and then propagate it. And this one is flowering. So I'll just leave that. And the blue metal is still beautiful, especially the Ionium Kiwi. Nice. Right here. So they are really surviving well. and the ionium kiwi over here is not getting much sunlight so it's better looking one it looks so good <laughs> look at that gorgeous post plant Over here, um, over here, guys. This one is my leaf propagation that I need to separate and put it in a bigger container. So this one is just mixture of succulent. So we have the purple delight there. This one is ghost plant, and this is broad delight. I have a this Mexican giant. I'm not sure what's that <laughs> and this one is my Lino Marcus there you go so this one needs to be repotted in bigger pots and another uh, propagation of mine here so this this tray here guys and that one here they have been sitting in my greenhouse under the grow light and now I take it up from there because they're really big and then place here in the outside okay. oh this look at this gold bunny beautiful roses look at that so gorgeous little guys beautiful and this one has a beautiful smell and over here is my purple light here it's been attacked by a powdery mildew i think but I already sprayed this with fungicide and it's recovering well. There you go. Pretty. This one they call it Vix Plant. 
is purple as well. So burgundy. Looks like burgundy and it's flowering. The bees love this one. Look at that. Pretty. And it has a strong smell. Mm. What else do you have? This one here. Look at that. So gorgeous color. Um, I don't know the identification, but it's beautiful. Look at that. Just hanging in here. And some of my just a ordinary roses. They are very they are flowering nicely. Nice addition color to the garden. Beautiful. My no gelosa painted lady has new pops there. Gorgeous. Over there. Beautiful. Okay, what else we can see? This one here. So this one also started from leech recreation under my curl light and look at it now. They are big and huge and flawless as well. Yeah. So gorgeous. Beautiful. Black Prince. That's Black Prince there. I don't know what's the name of this. Usually this one dies on me. <laughs> but now it survives it's growing nice beautiful like combination with black and that kind of grayish bluish color gray i think mm. but it's overtaking the black green so i have black green underneath this so i'll have to take that one out and over here too see there you go and look at this one guys this one is i think it's a starburst sediviria starburst i'm not sure but i cannot take the credit of this because i just got this one last year from garage sale and it's already long maybe i'll show you maybe half of the size there but it grow longer again and i have lots of flowers there at the bottom that i need to take them off like this <laughs> so I need to tidy up this one and remove all this flower stalk because they're already finished flowering so to show the beautiful uh, rosettes in there hanging like that see that's beautiful so you can grow your Sardivia starburst like this guys if I get the ID right so that's how it looks like from a distance beautiful there so I just need to remove all these flower stalks here and my serum junkie's tail so I just move this one here to get a strong bright light and see if those leaves there because they are very far apart maybe later on from the top here they will grow a bit bigger bigger leaf and get thicker see how it goes there that's what it looks like and those arrangement that i made the barrel wine arrangement it's really growing fast look at that beautiful there and this one the ruby necklace i need to expose them more maybe i'll have to take this one off and Put it in another pot. There. The set on top is really beautiful. I like it. Blue metal. Orion. There you go. And this Semper Vivum here is growing nicely and healthy. And my Ionium something. I don't know the complete name. That Ionium is really growing thick as well. And my nice. breaker. There you go. They grow so fast. Let's see? Let's have a look from here. That's what they look like at the moment. Very crowded now. <laughs> but it's really beautiful in real life. But in the video, it looks so crowded. I just want to just look at this one before it's going to disappear. The flowers like this one here. It's already wilted. And before it will disappear, better 
I better share it to you. It's so beautiful. The color is so gorgeous. Pink. This one is really wide open before, but I still have one more there. It's gorgeous. It's every farmer. And I also have one more here. Oh, this one here, they are just still in buds. There, one here, over here. This one's still flowering. This one's still in buds, so we will wait for that. And I hope I can share this one to you as well. And one here, over there. There, it's flowering, but this one here got a different leaf. The leaf is wide and uh, has a big curl at the edge of the leaf and the flower is white there you go and there's another one there another bud so. So this star jasmine look it's flowering lots of flowers there let's go there this one here I think this is a ghosty and been attacked by something look at the leaf or maybe hail but it's so gorgeous from the distance look at that so i also need to remove all these flowers stuff like this later on there remove them like that so when i get my energy back then i'll have to attend to them Now this one here is a Repsalus and the identification is this one here. It's a Lepismium Crociforme Cephiphylum Exotic Repsalus. Now it's because this one here it's under the shade that's why it just look green but if i expose this to indirect morning sun like a strong bright light this will turn into a dark purple color so like this color underneath this leaf here with my string of hearts or something like this color as well so i seen this one turning that color but now because of this jasmine tree or jasmine bush that i have here so it's not getting enough sunlight or enough bright light and that's the reason why it's just green look at this beautiful epiphylum guys look at that so pretty so i only have one two leaf in there and this is the first time it flowers so it's only one at the moment by next year maybe i'm going to have few but for now i will just enjoy this one beautiful flower here <laughs> and i will enjoy it while it lasts because they don't last long they only last for three to four days and that's it for them but look at the color so pretty so beautiful so look at that gorgeous and this one here is pretty look at that Mm, this is a fly trap so I got that one last year for $20 and I have another one here this one also is a Repsalus I'm not sure the ID of this kind of Repsalus so pretty I like the form of the leaf and the way it hangs but I'm, I'm going to fix this one first guys so I can display them nicely I'll look at my uh, monkey's tail so pretty it's so long but it's not getting a 
strong bright light that's why it's not flowering on me i also have to expose them to a strong bright light so i can get some flowers as well so guys this is what i'm telling you that uh there's a plant there remember before when i make this little arrangement here with this nice blue pot here with a uh, crassula golem and in front of it or oh, there's this plant here that i left it because there is a, a beautiful flower so this is the flower guys and look at it it has lots of flowers at the moment and this is what it looks like so pretty color so small but very beautiful color so that's the reason why i let that one stay there and i didn't take it off although it's covering all my my echeveria elegance and we need to do some weeding <laughs> there and i have more there underneath but then after uh, after this finished flowering i'll have to take it off and just cut it right down but for now i'm just going to enjoy the flowers that this plant gave me now on the side here this a lily here and this is the lily i have a few flowers still coming out there and still buds but there is already one here there you go that is open up so pretty the color is beautiful and the flower is big that is so pretty lily <laughs> some of my uh, roses look at that they are showing off colors and more of this pink one here so let's go around here this one here it's open already uh, the color is apricot and mm, smells so good so this one here guys very big flowers and smells so good over here this is just a small cluster or clump roses and the color is pretty as well and you can see there are lots of buds there bursting out later on <laughs> so pretty Over here has another roses. There you go. This one has a pink color, beautiful pink color, and it's also have a mm, beautiful smell. Smells so good. Uh, and more buds here, and another one here. Pretty one. We have this fuchsia so pretty fuchsia and has a lot of flowers as well there pretty pretty one especially at the fall distance see how pretty is that so gorgeous and juice and then i also have one there on top there and i'll let it 
let it grow high and this one is just an ordinary bush here but still pretty very beautiful color there you go and that's what it looks like from far distance so crowded there at the moment i still have to thin this one out here and tidy up look at this ionium guys it's turning so dark the color are so really dark yeah i think the rosettes is trying to close down it's trying to close down and reserving their energy because we are heading to summer see but even though they're still beautiful so over here they're receiving full sun this one is also ionium pretty one but i don't know the identification Look at this one guys peanut cactus it's really flowering lots of flowers there so i put it in full sun so i can get lots of flower with this so when you put this peanut cactus in full sun they give you a lot of beautiful flowers there there you go so beautiful and so pretty And another cactus that I have here now this one here it's in morning direct sun and it's also flowering for me there you go there are lots of buds still coming out and it has a beautiful like um, beautiful deep yellow that's pretty beautiful like a golden yellow one see how pretty is that so beautiful look at that that's the flower so pretty there but gorgeous isn't it guys gorgeous so the last one guys I'm going to share to you is this one here I call this one as a Christmas cactus because it flowers for me first week of December but some say this is a easter cactus so look at that leaf so pretty so i'm not sure if this is easter cactus or christmas cactus but whatever it is it's so beautiful look at that i hope you enjoy what i share to you guys so that's it for now and i hope i'll see you in my next video see you guys bye